The ocean is often referred to as a second world, and rightly so. It's a vast and mysterious realm that differs greatly from the world above. Similar to the land, the waters of our planet hold deep crevices and hidden mysteries. For a long time, one of the greatest mysteries was the Mariana Trench, a place so deep that it seemed unreachable. However, five expeditions have now ventured into its depths, shedding some light on its secrets. Here are 20 mysterious discoveries found in the Mariana Trench. Number 20. Megalodon. What they found in Mariana Trench shocked everyone. Now let's talk about some ideas people have, not mine, because I have better things to do than guess what's in a deep, watery hole I never planned to visit. But some people think about this stuff. When we talk about ancient times, one of the scariest creatures was the Megalodon. It was probably the biggest shark ever and it ate a lot, like up to two tons of food a day. They were like the kings of the old oceans. If we didn't have fossils to prove they existed, we might not even believe it. Lots of things could have made them disappear, like some big disasters and not having enough food. Now, what does this have to do with the trench? Well, some folks think maybe the trench could be a hiding spot for megalodons all this time, without anyone noticing. There are serious people who think they found signs of them there. But there are problems with this idea. First, lots of people have explored the trench and didn't see any megalodons. Second, it's really cold down there, and megalodons liked warmer waters. So why would they stay down there if they could come up here? Exactly. Number 19. Metallic sound. When you're dealing with something as vast and deep as the Mariana Trench, visual study is only part of the story. The ocean is a noisy place, with sounds from creatures, tectonic plates shifting, and more. So, scientists have been figuring out ways to listen better to the ocean. In 2016, one of their experiments picked up a metallic sound that they thought might be from a whale. Now, they weren't sure what species of whale it was, but the sound had quite a range. It spanned frequencies from as low as 38 hertz to as high as 8,000 hertz. For perspective, humans can hear sounds between 20 and 20,000 hertz. This range caught the scientists' attention. They said the sound was distinct, with some unusual parts, and the low-frequency moaning was typical of a baleen whale. It's that unique twangy sound that makes it stand out. Finding new baleen whale calls in the ocean isn't common. Believe it or not, it was an underwater robot that picked up the sound, and it was only about three seconds long. But that's enough for scientists to study and try to understand what was being said. There have been other sounds recorded in the trench, and each one helps us piece together what's going on deep beneath the waves. Number 18. Zombie worms. Even if you were to dive to the deepest depths of the ocean to stay safe, you'd still encounter zombies. Well, kind of. Depending on your knowledge of our world, you might know that some creatures have ties to zombies in how they can turn other organisms into zombies. Take, for instance, the zombie fungus, which can manipulate ants to do its bidding. It's pretty gross. In the Mariana Trench, among other places, they have to deal with zombie worms. But these worms aren't after brains. They go for bones. Yes, you heard that right. These worms infect the bodies of fish or whales and slowly eat away at their bones using acid. They release proteins via bacteria and somehow ingest them to feed themselves. Depending on the type of zombie worm, you could find dozens, if not hundreds, scattered throughout the infected body. But wait, it gets even creepier. While there are male and female zombie worms, only the females do the bone eating. The males live inside the females. Now, if that's not disturbing, I don't know what is. Number 17. Mariana Snailfish One of the things that intrigues people about the Mariana Trench is the mystery surrounding it. Not how it was formed, but rather how creatures manage to survive within its extreme conditions. This is especially true for invertebrates, as they shouldn't be able to withstand the pressures and cold found in the trench. Yet, they do. One such example is the Mariana snailfish. To give you an idea of just how deep into the trench they're found, they're known to inhabit depths between 20,335 and 26,496 feet. That's incredibly deep, and it means these snailfish can handle extreme pressures and cold. Compared to snailfish found in shallower waters, these ones have several unusual adaptations for their dark, high-pressure habitat. These include transparent skin-lacking pigment, certain enlarged organs and eggs, 
thinner muscles and incomplete ossification of their bones, notably their skulls. They seem to have little or no ability to see, but they have mechanisms to allow proteins within their bodies to function and differences in cell membranes to maintain flexibility. Number 16. Telescope Octopus Let's talk about the Telescope Octopus, a really strange octopus that's both more and less than it appears. If you take a look at its eyes, you'll notice they're incredibly tubular. They're the only octopus in the world with such eyes, which is why they're called the Telescope Octopus. But these eyes aren't just odd-looking, they're quite remarkable. Cephalopods in general have great vision, but the Telescope Octopus takes it up a notch. Its eyes can move independently, and are thought to have even better eyesight than other octopuses. They can scan their environment easily, helping them avoid any potential threats. Another interesting thing about them is where they live. They dwell at depths between 500 and 6,500 feet in tropical and subtropical regions of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, putting them in the range of the Mariana Trench. The telescope octopus is also gelatinous and transparent, making it hard to spot without close examination. This is intentional because they spend most of their lives in a vertical position in the water column. Predators can't easily see them, and they don't even cast a shadow. So, you could say this is a creature you might never see coming. Number 15. Deep Sea Hatchet Fish there are over 40 species of hatchetfish, each with shiny scales that often give them a metallic appearance from different angles. Despite their small size, maxing out at about 6 inches, their survival trick makes them particularly special. While they live in the trench, they've also been spotted higher up in the world's waters, where they interact with light. Here's where their defense mechanism comes into play. Their skin reflects light creating illusions that confuse predators. This clever trick either keeps predators at bay or leads them to strike in the wrong spot. Number 14, Ping Pong Tree Sponge. Now there's a name that catches your attention, but what does this thing do in the trench? It doesn't play ping pong with kelp balls. Instead, it's a rather serious matter. Despite its funny sounding name, the Ping Pong Tree Sponge is no joke. It's actually a flesh-eating organism. This creature stands about 20 inches tall, mostly made up of a thin stalk. At its top, there's a strange arrangement of structures called etheroglobules, which give it the appearance of a ping-pong tree. These structures are covered in hook-shaped spicules, which act like tiny Velcro hooks. Any small crustaceans that touch these hooks get trapped, and then the sponge starts its flesh-eating process. It's not a pleasant thought, but the sponge gradually consumes its prey, getting closer and closer to start the digestion process. You might wonder why I included this on my list. Well, it's a reminder of the mysteries of the ocean. While we know some things, there's still a lot we don't understand. The ocean can be dangerous, and this sponge proves that even seemingly harmless creatures can be terrifying. Number 13. Viperfish the viperfish is definitely one of the scariest creatures you'll ever encounter, whether in or out of the Mariana Trench. These fish have some seriously unique hunting habits that make them terrifying predators. They're known for luring prey in with light-producing organs called photophores, located along their body's ventral sides. They also have a discrete photophore at the end of a long spine in their dorsal fin, similar to the anglerfish's lure. The viperfish flashes this natural light on and off while moving its dorsal spine like a fishing rod, remaining completely still in the water. This makes the prey unsuspecting of the danger lurking nearby. Now, you might wonder why shining this light works against prey. Well, these fish live in or beyond the midnight zone, where sunlight doesn't reach. By creating their own light, they can see and attract prey, or they have a unique trick to lure them in and let's talk about their appearance. Just look at their mouth and teeth and you'll understand why they're the stuff of nightmares. This freaky look likely helps them become effective predators. Number 12, Barrelai fish. The Barrelai fish is a perfect example of creatures that go to extreme lengths to survive in the trench, even if it means tinkering with their biology in the most unusual ways. As you can see, this fish has a literal transparent head. It's speculated that this allows the fish to capture light. Remember, it's in the trench area known as the midnight zone where light is scarce. So by capturing fractions of light, it can use it later. A clever adaptation indeed. Now, let's talk about its eyes. They're often pointed upwards. Why? 
Well, it wants to be able to see predators that might be lurking above. Thanks to their sharpness and the head's transparency, these eyes can see through the darkness better than any human night vision. Number 11. Supergiant Amphipod The supergiant amphipod, also known as a species with a name I can't pronounce, is a unique crustacean. They have no shells and bodies that are scrunched up vertically, giving them an unusual appearance that works well for them. These creatures are found only in the deepest waters, and as their name suggests, they're the largest of their kind. They can grow to over a foot in length, which might not seem impressive, but compared to others within their species, it's massive. Some suspect that the conditions in the deep waters contribute to their gigantism. Number 10. Comb jellies. Although they resemble jellyfish, comb jellies are not related to them at all, adding yet another mystery to life. With at least 150 species, some of which live in the trench, their size can vary wildly, with larger ones reaching about 5 feet. These creatures have been around for over 225 million years, with some fossils indicating their ancient existence. If they currently inhabit the trench undisturbed, they might persist even longer. Number 9. USS Johnston. Considering the Mariana Trench is deeper than Mount Everest is tall, you might think a lot of things could vanish down there, and you'd be absolutely right. But you might not realize just how right you are. What if I told you there's a shipwreck down there? That shipwreck is the USS Johnston, a 115 meter long US Navy destroyer that sank during a battle in 1944. It went down after a fierce fight with a bunch of Japanese warships. The battle was so intense that only about half of the crew survived, none of whom were near the ship's wreckage. Victor Vikovo, who led the expedition and piloted the submarine, said the wreck was really deep, with very little oxygen. Despite that, the ship is surprisingly well preserved, apart from the damage it suffered in the battle. To give you an idea of how deep it is, the Johnston was found over four miles below the surface. That's a long, long way down, and not all of the ship was found or recovered. Similar to the Titanic, parts of it went even deeper. It's a pretty fascinating piece of history, a relic from a war found in one of the deepest places on Earth, and only recently have people started to recover some parts of it. Number eight, Dumbo Octopus. Next up, we have an animal named after a famous animated character, the Dumbo octopus. When you first see it, you might think, this doesn't look like an octopus at all. And you'd be right. It's more like an exaggerated version of what we're used to. But the Dumbo octopus is indeed real. And it's pretty special. It's one of the deepest dwelling octopuses in the world, going deeper than even the colossal squid and the giant squid. So why is it called Dumbo? Well. Just like the Disney cartoon elephant, it's because of its flappy ears. Of course, in the water, it can't really fly like Dumbo the elephant, but imagine if it could, that would really surprise some scientists. There are many interesting things about the Dumbo octopus. For one, its size varies a lot. On average, it's between eight inches and a foot long, but some have been found to be over six feet long. Despite their small size compared to other octopuses, they're not to be underestimated. They may look cute, but they're fierce predators. In fact, they swallow their prey whole. So, as they say, it's not about the size, it's how you use it. And the Dumbo octopus knows how to use its size very well. Number seven, sea cucumbers. You might be thinking, sea cucumbers live near the surface of the water. I've even seen one. Well, you're probably right. Many sea cucumber species do wash up on the shore in certain places and seasons. But here's the thing. You're thinking of sea cucumbers as just one species. In reality, there are over 1,700 different types of sea cucumbers, and many of them actually live on the ocean floor, including in the Mariana Trench. Believe it or not, sea cucumbers play a crucial role in marine ecosystems. They break down detritus and other matter, essentially cleaning up their environments. So having lots of sea cucumbers on the ocean floor is actually beneficial for keeping things tidy down there. As for some quirky facts about these creatures, here's one. They breathe through their anus. Strange but true. Sea cucumbers also have a curious defense mechanism. When threatened, they'll literally mutilate their bodies and expel parts of themselves at the predator, making it harder to be caught. They'll heal afterward, 
But still, that's quite extreme. Sea cucumbers in the trench are indeed a threat to many predators, and perhaps it's just as well that they have this ability to defend themselves. Number six, pollution. This is sadly not much of a surprise. During a dive into the Mariana Trench in 2019, led by Victor Vescovo, they went seven miles down and saw many things, wildlife, plants, and also trash. Yes, you heard that right. They found a plastic bag and even candy wrappers down there in the trench, over 25,000 feet below sea level. It's a place where trash shouldn't be able to reach, but there it was clear for everyone to see. This is a huge problem and adds to the long-standing issue humanity has been facing, massive amounts of trash pollution. Our oceans have become dumping grounds for garbage to the extent that there's even an island of trash collecting debris from North America and Asia. It's massive and unfortunately, it's not going away anytime soon. Now, we're seeing this pollution extend to the very depths of the ocean. While it's only been confirmed three times that our trash has reached these depths, even once is too many. If things don't change, our oceans will become even more overwhelmed with trash, reaching a point of no return. And let's not forget, animals suffer because of the trash we put in the oceans. Number five, anglerfish. Without a doubt, one of the most famous and maybe infamous, fish known to inhabit the Mariana Trench is the anglerfish, also known as the sea devil. But that name is a bit too terrifying for me and my sweet little innocent pet guinea pig, Twinkle. So let's stick with anglerfish. There are two main reasons for its fame. Firstly, it's a very scary looking fish. I mean, come on, do you think they call it the sea devil because it's a looker out there in the depths? No, they call it that because it's a terrifying predator that you should be glad humans don't encounter often. The other reason it's famous is because of the protrusion on its body that emits light. Remember, certain deep sea creatures create their own light through bioluminescence, which they use to their advantage. For the anglerfish, they use the bulb at the end of their protrusion to attract fish and lure them in. Then, as the prey moves towards the light, the anglerfish strikes from behind. Number four, goblin shark. The goblin shark, also known as the vampire shark, is one of the most intriguing creatures you'll find at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, primarily because it's been around for millions of years. This type of creature is often referred to as a living fossil. While that might make it cool from an evolutionary standpoint, it's absolutely terrifying to look at. If the anglerfish didn't give you nightmares, this creature certainly should. The goblin shark's elongated nose is filled with electromagnetic sensors that can detect even the smallest discharge of electricity, such as in a prey's brain. This makes it a highly capable predator. When it does find food, it not only locks in on it, but also extends its mouth from its body to chomp down on its prey. Yes, just like a xenomorph from the Alien movies. This thing is like an underwater xenomorph, and humanity is doomed. Number three, benthicodon. Considering the variety of jellyfish found throughout the world's waters, it's not surprising that a few exist within the Mariana Trench. One such jellyfish is benthicodon, which also uses bioluminescence to lure in its prey. As you can see from these pictures, it's quite fascinating to watch when it glows. Those wisps at the end are its small tentacles, which it uses to move through the water. While you might be curious about the creature and tempted to hold it in your hands, it's best to stay away for safety's sake. Number two, frilled shark. You might think the Mariana Trench only has one shark species, but you'd be mistaken. The Megalodon doesn't even count. Enter the frilled shark, another living fossil that should be feared, much like the goblin shark. With 20 rows of teeth, it's more than capable of ripping its prey to shreds without much effort. However, how it attacks its prey remains a mystery. Their bodies resemble eels, a testament to their age, but their heads are more shark-like, adding to the mysteries surrounding their behavior and survival in the depths. Frilled sharks prefer to reside at the bottom of the ocean like many other deep sea creatures. Attempts to capture them have resulted in their deaths upon reaching the surface, perhaps for the best. Number one, the mystery. The most profound mystery found within the trench 
is life itself. Scientists have long been baffled by how life manages to survive in the depths of the Mariana Trench. While life finds a way, it's a complex puzzle considering the extreme conditions, tremendous pressure and icy waters. These creatures, big and small, have adapted to the harshest conditions, making survival impossible if they were to leave the trench for the surface. The more creatures discovered within the trench, the deeper the mystery becomes.